Are you telling us na ministerial lang po kayo? Pumirma kayo dito without uh, looking at the liquidation? Honestly, yes, sir. I will say uh, yes. Oh, di may problema. She signed the liquidation report of the 37.5. Certifying point that. Certifying that the supporting documents complete and proper. So, paano po ninyo sasabihin na complete kung hindi naman niya nakita? Uh, uh, no, but that, that is common sense eh. Yes, sir. Paano po kayo magsisertify ng isang uh, dokumento na complete and proper nang hindi nyo nakita? Hindi po ba kayo nagtaka na nagsisertify kayo ng isang dokumento? It was one of the requirements, sir, and I was made to sign that document, unfortunately. It is on record that... Uh, that the chief accountant of the DPET never bother to check the liquidation report. He just signed it without looking at the details of such report. Oh, who will tell you to sign the document? Uh, Are you forced to sign the document? Not really forced, but I was... What? Not really? I was requested to sign the document. Oh, you signed the document, but you never bothered to read this mandate of yours? Yes, who requested you to sign the document? By uh, ASEC Shine Paharda. Sino po? Si Assistant Secretary Shine Paharda. Sunshine Paharda. Who gave you the envelope? Uh, ASEC uh, Sunshine Paharda. Who requested, who requested you to sign the... Uh, the uh, accounting report. It was also a section fired. Following your line of questioning. You see, Madam, it is irrelevant whether you are aware of uh, what you have signed or not. Because under the circular, you can be also liable. Uh, Attorney Chikopoa. Yes, Your Honor. That, that is correct, Your Honor. That's the rule. No gift policy. Do you remember that, Ms. Catalan? Yes, Your Honor. So why is she giving envelopes? If the rule in her office is no gift policy. Therefore, even the Vice President would think that whenever a gift is given, that's bribery. Yung pagbigay ng allowance sa'yo is actually subtle bribery. The rule of the Vice President is no gift policy. Whether there is no envelope given as a form of gratitude, it's your duty to do your job. Am I right? Yes, Your Honor. That's what I'm saying. I just want to put in record that it is not only Catalan no na tumanggap ng ang sobre. Uh, Attorney Resti Wases or Osias also admitted. Now, even Attorney Michael Wesley Poa, nandito ngayon. And of course, Miss Gloria Jumamil also, uh, Mercado. Si Ma'am, bit-bit niya pa yung ano, mga sobre. No? Yung original na mga sobre. So as of now, apat na po. Apat na po ng mga officials ng Vice President na umamin na tumatanggap po ng, ng sobre. Uh, I've been the chief accountant since 20, 2010 until now. until now. I am aware of the face copy of the liquidation report, but the supporting documents were not presented to me. Uh, so, so, it was not presented to you? You just signed it? It was... You're the chief accountant? Yes, sir, but it was just a formality that it should be covered by the liquidation report. But no, but supposedly you're the chief accountant, you have, you have checked. Supporting documents shall be submitted by the disbursing officer direct to the ICPAO without any uh, presentation to the chief accountant. Yung ik ICPAO po, saan po department under yun? Uh, COA, yung Intelligence and Audit Office ng Intelligence and, and Confidential Funds. Are you telling us na ministerial lang po kayo? 
Pumirma kayo dito without uh, looking at the liquidation? Honestly, yes, sir. I will say uh, yes. Oh, di may problema. Eh, pumirma ka dito. Di part ka ng case. But then again, sir, under the joint circular, it was clearly stated that the documents and supporting documents to the liquidation report shall, shall be directly submitted to the COA. And Sh it, it means that it will not pass through the accounting. Oh, GMC, uh, COA, pa pakicheck nga, shall. It's stated there that the liquidation report in Annex E should be signed by the... Uh, SDO, the accounting unit or the SDO, meaning SDO special disbursing officer who um, were, who was given the cash advance of the uh, confidential fund, the special disbursing officer. She signed the liquidation report of the 37. Certifying point five, that. Certifying that the supporting documents complete and proper. So, paano po ninyo sasabihin na complete kung hindi naman niya nakita? Uh, uh, sir, it is a standard procedure that every liquidation document should be covered by a uh, signed uh, liquidation. No, but that, that is common sense eh. Yes, sir. Pa paano but, po kayo magsisertify ng isang uh, dokumento na complete and proper nang hindi niyo nakita? Hindi po ba kayo nagtaka na nagsisertify kayo ng isang dokumento it was one of the requirements, sir, and I was made to sign that document, unfortunately. Uh, yung tenure of office niya, since 2010 pa, and I think uh, uh, they're doing it since then, without checking the liquidation report. And, ano na po, pumirma lang. But ma'am, eto ngayon ha, eto 6.3.3, the agency accountant, it's you ma'am. Hindi ba pwedeng sabihin na you are not accountable? Hindi mo rin pwedeng sabihin na diretsong ibigay sa kawa? Because malinaw po sa mandate mo that you have to submit disbursement, vouchers. Uh, the 6.1.8.4 pertains to the uh, pre-audit of the cash advance. I'm telling about, no, that is not 6.8.4. I'm, I'm saying about the 6.3.3b. It is on record that, uh, that the chief accountant of the DPET never bothered to check the liquidation report. He just signed it without looking at the details of such report. And it is on record, Mr. Chairman. May I respond to your honor? Uh, this is the first time that we have encountered cash advances for confidential fund. But for the regular cash advances for regular funds, we always ensure that the documents attached to the liquidation of the cash advances were complete. The mandate of the chief accountant, the SDO, and all other uh, officials of agency. Malinaw po yan, ma'am. May I correct the word not bothered, that I did not bother to check the completeness of the documents. Uh, during that time, no matter how, I maybe, this is the first time ngayon may cash advance ng confidential fund, but uh, I was made to sign it. So, you were made to sign it by whom? Because it is a requirement that the uh, liquidation should be covered by the liquidation voucher. But that is, ma'am, that is your mandate. Yes. And your statement that you signed it without looking at the details, di ba? Oh, tell you to sign the document. Uh, Are you forced to sign the document? Not really forced, but I was... What not really? I was requested to sign the document. Oh, you signed the document, but you never bothered to read this mandate of yours? Yes, who requested you to sign the document? By uh, ASEC Shine Paharda. Sino po? Si Assistant Secretary Shine Paharda. Sunshine Paharda. Edward Paharda signed it. BP signed it, and you signed it. But you were requested by Ms. Paharda? Yes, sir. Oh, Mr. Chairman, all the more that we have to... Uh, Ms. Uh, Sunshine Pardas will be present in the next hearing. Para po patutunahanan, 
yung statement ni Miss Catalan. Sabi na natin, you were requested to sign it. So why did you sign it? As per request of Miss Varda? Yes, Your Honor, because it is uh, it is needed as a covering letter or covering document to the liquidation documents, supporting documents. Oh nga, pero sabi ko na nga, kaya nga statement ko kanina, you don't have to bother to check to merma ka lang. O ano bang tama? Nagkamali ka lang? Nakaligtaan mo i-check? Or you were forced to sign it without checking the liquidation report? Kung ano mang word gagamitin, requested ba, o she was forced to sign it without checking the liquidation report, ganun pa rin yun. Di ba? Ganun pa rin yun. Ma'am, meron po ko isang tanong. Nakakatanggap po ba kayo ng envelope kay Asik Paharta? Yung totoo po, ma'am. Remember, you are under oath. Aside from your allowance, from your regular budget, nakakatanggap po ba kayo ng envelope just like Yusek Mercado and Director Osias from ASEC Paharda? Yes, sir. Magkakano? Tawa mga ka-beauties, punta na ako ng taping ng viewpoint headlines today. Kaso sobrang init, sira na naman kasi ang aircon sa studio. Mabuti na lang, lagi kong kasama ang BIPIP ko. Sweet night fragrance. Ang ibang mayamay siya, pero napaka-affordable ng price. 99 pesos lang. And dahil sumibinta siya ng 1.4 million sa TikTok shop. And also recommended, especially lahat ng mga influencers. Ano pang iniintay niyo mga beauties? And magiging comfortable ang araw niyo maghapon pagkakasama niyo itong Sweet Night Fragrance. And, minispray ko lang ito ng twice, mga ka-beauties. Ano pang iniintay niyo? Click the order link below. Magkakano? Minimal amount lang po. Which is how much po? It's not even ano. Magkano po? It's 25,000. 25,000. Mm. How many times po? If uh, you could recall. Three, 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 nine? Ilan? Nine times. Nine times. From what month up to what month? Let me guess. From February to September? I think so, sir. So, nung September po, dumigil na? Yes, Your Honor. Just like uh, Yusek uh, Mercado. Tama po ba? Yes, Your Honor. So, thank you po. I want to uh, just express my, ano, my sympathy to you. Nawa talaga kami sa inyo. Napipilitan kayo, permahan yung isang bagay na hindi tama. E nga kung may kaso, pag lumabas yung hindi, yung finality nun, tatamaan kayo dyan. Ano po sa, ako, Mr. Chairman, sabi ko nga, nawa lang ako dito sa mga, mga officials ng DepEd, pag ganito yung kalakakaran. Ngayon, dalawa na. E baka sunod, hindi lang dalawa. Base on your obligation, on your voucher during the processes of the vouchers into check. Parang tama po, Your Honor. Tama. So, tama ho ba yung tanong ko na per quarter at dalawang checky po yung ginawa niyong 37.5 in one quarter? Tama ho ba? No, Your Honor. Per quarter po siya. Per quarter is February. February for the first quarter, and then yung April for the second quarter, and then yung July for the third quarter. So tama ho ba? Po. Okay. So that is equivalent to uh, 37.5 times 3. That is equivalent to 112.5 million. Do you realize your accountability on this and consequence of what you did, Ms. Catalan? Yes, Your Honor. I would like to ask once again, were you requested or were you pressured? I was requested, sir. You were requested. You were not pressured at all. Um. 
Come on, tell us the truth here. I was requested, sir, in a nice way. The thing is this, uh, you received an envelope nine times, am I right? Yes, Your Honor. Is that not a form of pressure? <clears throat> Honestly, sir, the first time I, I met or I talked with... Have you ever asked, why are you being given an envelope? Yes, sir. I asked her. But what was the answer? It's just an allowance from the from the vice president. Was that? It was just an allowance from the vice president. Actually, I asked. Is that is, allowance? Is that, is that uh, liquidated or is that recorded or is just given to you? Because it's a bit different when you say allowance and uh, uh, it's just an envelope given to you. Am I right? Sir, uh, the first time I receive it, I honestly asked as Asex Shine, Ma'am, uh, is it part of the confidential fund? Sabi niya, no. It was just an allowance from the vice president. So, for me, honestly, I receive it, knowing okay. that it was not part of the who, who gave you that? Who gave you the envelope? Uh, Asex uh, Sunshine Fajarda. Who requested, who requested you to sign the uh, the uh, accounting report. It was also Asek Shain Faharda. Therefore, if it was Asek Faharda who requested you, as you said, to sign, and she is also the one that you gave that gave you the envelopes, would you not think that it's a form of pressure on your part? Uh, Come on, but please tell us the truth here, because Luca. Uh, <laughs> I think you know what I mean, isn't it? I do not think that you are going to receive envelopes from the same person that requested you without you, without you realizing the pressure of signing it. Uh, Mr. So, Talan. Your Honor, uh, at, the first, uh, at the first giving of the envelope, I honestly and... Uh, ask ASIC Shine if it is part of the confidential fund. Sabi niya, hindi. This is just an allowance from the secretary. So I, I trusted her word for that. And without any thinking, it was really part of the confidential fund. Honestly, on my part. So I receive it honestly on my part without any uh, it was part of the confidential fund. I am saying this to you because alam mo, talagang uh, na and I, uh, my heart goes out to you, uh, Miss Catalan. You know, uh, I think it would be would be best that uh, you know, in your own heart, you have been pressured because you received the envelopes. Eh? They're not only being requested; you have been pressured because you received envelopes, thinking that they are just allowances. But you know, it is never recorded. It is not part of the budget that was given to the to, to the uh, to the OVP or the Secretary of Education. It's not part. Did did you sign a voucher for it? No, Your Honor. See, I mean. So what what I'm saying is this: those nine envelopes you received. It's a form of pressure on your part or on the part of the same person that asked you to sign, Miss Catalan. Am I right? Yes or no? No. Yes or no? Uh, maybe, Your Honor. You no, know, it's not maybe. It's, it's, it's yes, isn't it? Am I right? Maybe, Your Honor. Am, am I pressuring you now? Am I pressuring you now? I'm so nervous right now, Your Honor. Nag-iisip lang ako dun sa sinabi mo na 
noong binigyan ka ng unang sobre, sinabi mo kagad, ang tanong mo kagad eh, galing ba ito sa confidential fund? Tama po ba yung pagkarinig ko? Yes, Your Honor. Bakit ganun ang tanong mo? Because, honestly, I'm wondering ba't ako bibigyan. And during... Ngayon, uh, honestly, the, nagtanong ka kung bakit ka binibigyan. Ano ang sagot doon sa tanong mo na yun? But I was made to understand by uh, ASEC China, it, 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 it is an allowance from the secretary. From the secretary. Kayo po ay accountant, di po ba? Matanong ko yes, po kayo, saan po nang galing na, na pondo, ang source of fund, nung allowance na binigay sa inyo? Well, I didn't have the, I didn't have the, uh, the courage to ask for that anymore. Uy, tinanong mo, you had the courage to ask, galing ba ito sa confidential fund? Tapos hindi, you did not have the courage to ask, saan galing yan kung hindi galing sa confidential fund? Di po ba? Sure, Honor. Di ba, may lakas kang loob na tanungin, Uh, galing ba ito sa confidential fund? Pero hindi mo tinanong nung sinabi niya, hindi galing sa confidential fund yan. Saan galing? Hindi ba dapat yun ang sunod na tanong? Following your line of questioning? Kasi, madam, it is irrelevant whether you are aware of uh, what you have signed or not. Kasi under the circular, you can be also liable. Uh, Attorney Chikopoa, Yes, Your Honor. That, that is correct, Your Honor. That's the rule. No gift policy. Do you remember that, Ms. Catalan? Yes, Your Honor. So why is she giving envelopes? If the rule in her office is no gift policy. Therefore, even the Vice President would think that whenever a gift is given, that's bribery. That is subtle bribery. Ms. Catalan. Maybe. Not maybe. <laughs> And sabi mo sa akin, no gift policy. So therefore, if the, if the, if, uh, the, the vice president said that there is no gift policy, therefore she is trying to avoid Any kind of a bribery or a corruption in his part. Attorney, uh, 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 Paul, can you please, uh, that, uh, do you believe that? Uh, well, yes, I do believe that, Your Honor, because uh, even as uh, OSEC, when I was in OSEC, no gift talaga kami from anyone. No gifts. No gift policy was in place. Therefore, yung pagbigay ng allowance sa'yo is actually subtle bribery. Came from the... Uh, secretary and who was really just maybe he was just grateful to sa performance namin so I considered it not really a form of bribery the rule of the vice president is no give policy whether there is no envelope given as a form of gratitude it's your duty to do your job am I right yes your honor that's what I'm saying I just want to put in record that it is not only Catalan no na tumanggap ng ang sobre uh, Attorney Resti Wases o, o Sias also admitted Now, even Attorney Michael Wesley Poa, nandito ngayon admitted also, but that, that was uh, December, only December but he still admitted that he received some, some amount from, from the Vice President and of course, Miss Gloria Jumamil also uh, Mercado Si ma'am, bit-bit niya pa yung ano, mga sobre, no? Yung original na mga sobre. At nandito ngayon, no? In possession natin. And of course, lahat na to is galing from Miss Sunshine Farda na na heya ni BP at the same time asawa nung SDO. Uh, ng Office of the Vice President in relation to confidential fund. So as of now, apat na po apat na po ng mga officials ng Vice President na umamin 
na tumatanggap po ng, ng sobre.